G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders. I live in Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm doing a series on Frid Fly, P-H-O-R-I, do you have you want to say it? Frid Fly Management. And this is part three, the final setup. Now I'm showing you a picture of this hive, mainly because it's more interesting than showing you a picture of the recovered hive, which is just a box sealed up inside the house. It's very early morning, and as you can see on this hive, the bees are just stirring, coming out, doing their business. So, let's discuss what happened in part two, if you spotted my deliberate error, and what happened this morning before the sun came up. Now, in the part two, go back and look. I left out an important step in clearing out the hive. You saw me clear out the eggs at the bottom of the hive. Most definitely you saw that. But did you notice the white dots in the honey super and in the other story? They were also fly eggs. I forgot to clean them out. And all you do is you check through the hive and where you see those white dots, rub them with your hands. That will kill them off. So I forgot to show you that, but I did that on two other times yesterday and got rid of the eggs that I could see, rubbed them, and also got rid of more flies. So what did I do this morning before the sun came up? Well, rather simple. I went to a very strong hive and opened it. What did I find when I opened that hive? Yes, I had the same fly in that hive, but not in the huge numbers. You've got to remember that this fly is a natural enemy or parasite, whatever you want to call it. I suppose it's not a parasite, but it's a natural enemy of native bees. They will lay eggs in native bee hives. It's a bit like fleas on a dog. It's not unusual to see the fly in a strong hive. One or two, three or four, that's fine. Because the heart will be able to defend against that. Any eggs laid, they'll be able to remove them. Any maggots that hatch, they'll come across them and get rid of them. They stop the build up in numbers. Of course, the flies are very fast. And it's very hard for a hive to defend. So, I opened that hive. I put in the, I put in the damaged hive quite a few pollen pots about the size of a golf ball all up. Now that's more than enough. So when I opened up the hive, the damaged hive, before sunrise, there were still about three or four flies in there, but because it was dark, they just walked around as per normal and I flicked them out and killed them. So the hive in question is now probably only got one or two flies in it. More than manageable now. I also put in some brood. I looked for some brood that was freshly hatching and I put that brood in as well to build up the numbers. So, pollen went in, brood went in. So what do you do with the hive then? Well, it's got food, so I sealed the entrance with some uh, stainless steel mesh and the hive is now inside the house. That's why I'm showing you these bees, because it's more exciting. And you leave the hive inside the house for a day. Why do you do that? Give the bees time to repair all the damage you've done. If I put it outside, it's going to attract these flies again. And these flies are everywhere at the moment. I'll explain more on that in a minute. So the hive is now inside the house and it will stay there for a day, sealed up with the mesh allowing them to breathe. The second day, that's tomorrow, the hive will be moved back to its original location, 
but will remain sealed again for a day. That's to allow the numbers to build up from hatching brood. Only when all that is done and I've got the hatching brood will I remove that uh, stainless steel mesh and allow the opening. And that will probably be on day three. Nothing to report there when I do it. I won't do a film on that. Now, about these damn flies. We've had a heat spell come through in the tropics, about 36 degrees out here. This is ideal times for these bees. These bees, I mean, not even bees, these flies. They love that sort of hot weather. They have hatched en masse. I've been watching my other hives and they are on constant attack from the fly but that's okay the this hive like this one here i watched a fly go in he lasted about oh, 30 seconds trying to run the gauntlet of guard bees and eventually he was chased out so you need to study the bees to make sure that everything's okay don't be alarmed when you see the fly. It's a natural predator of native bees. You've just got to monitor your hives to see whether they're thriving or not. So, what's the final thing to do in the management? If you've got more than one hive, it's time now to check your other hives. And I'm going to be doing that. Any hive that looks weak, have a look and just see that everything is okay. But as long as you've got a ring of guard bees at the front of your hive, generally it should be okay. When you don't see that ring of guard bees, then you start to worry. All right, you'll get a final report, a part four, when I see, oh sorry, not when I see, you will see the recovered hive or a dead hive. It's going to be one of the two. We'll have to wait and see.